Greetings, unsettled souls! Yeah. Welcome to the Correct Views. And uh, friends, I, I don't know about you. But are you, my unsettled souls, are you tired? Tired, tired. Of not only the cancer culture, a cancel culture, which is a cancer, but also of accusations being brought way, way after when they were supposed to have happened. And we're supposed to believe them. There are some instances here that just strike me as odd. For instance, it's no secret that they went after Bill Cosby because he was correct when he talked about hip-hop culture. He was completely correct. He was correct in every possible way. These were people who slept with Bill Cosby, knowing that it would further their career in many instances, not all. And then after they got the money, they said that he raped them or that he abused them. Did he? I don't know. I wasn't there, but I know what caused people to go after him. It wasn't about the Me Too movement. They don't care about any of that. How about the people, they were 16, 17 years old, that were getting paid as prostitutes by Jeffrey Epstein. And what did they do? They brought their friends in on it and allowed Jeffrey Epstein to molest them too. Knowing that molestation was going on, I'm sorry, if you're 17 years old, you know right from wrong enough that when you got molested, you don't take money to get somebody else molested. They were part of the problem. They weren't four years old. It was like they didn't know any better. But you can't say these things. You can't ask these kinds of questions. What kind of 17-year-old is going to get molested and then take money to have this happen to others. This is the most absurd one. The Times, they are changing. Infowars, a lawsuit alleges that a Bob Dylan of ra accuses Bob Dylan of raping a 12-year-old in 1965. You mean to tell me at no point since 1965 this person felt the need to mention this? Let me say I'm not a Bob Dylan fan. He's wrong on his politics. He's one of the main reasons that our society and our culture has gone to the dumpster. It was his generation and his, his pushing that gave us scum like Allen Ginsberg, that gave us some of the filth of William Burroughs, who I find fascinating for a horrific reason. Uh, I, I think he may or may not have done this. I, I don't like the man, and I'm not particularly fond of his music. I think it's the most overrated trait in the world, to be quite honest. Extremely overrated. He was put into the limelight to cause the kind of problem he did and push the kinds of dangerous beliefs that the left is now embracing onto society. Okay, that's the only reason we even know his name. But... That said, and again, I, I don't, if you haven't come for, forward with this by now, all you've done is enable Bob Dylan. He could have been stopped a long time ago if he'd have said something. Instead, it's 2021, and now you want to come out and say something? How many people has he done this to since this person accused them of it? You let this happen since the 60s? I don't expect a 12-year-old to say something, but you let this go? What is wrong with people? And I'm not blaming the victim. But there are times when the victim can make the threat worse for other people. Do I think he did it? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. But it's very hard to believe this the way it's presented. Just listen to this. It says, a lawsuit filed by the New York Supreme Court last week accuses legendary musician and overrated musician, I might add, Bob Dylan, of threatening, drugging, and raping a 12-year-old girl in 1965. The woman known in the lawsuit as J.C., who's now like elderly, claims that Dylan got her intoxicated on drugs and alcohol before molesting her at his apartment in New York City's, in New York's Chelsea Motel. J.C. also says that the famous singer and songwriter used threats of violence, leaving her emotionally scarred and physically damaged to this day. 
and she didn't say anything so that he could do it to other people. I have no idea how that works. According to the suit obtained by TMZ, Dylan established, quote, an emotional connection with JC in order to lower her inhibitions with the object of sexually abusing her, which he did. The lawsuit, it says, also complains that Dylan used his star power to lure the young lady, saying he exploited his status as a musician by grooming her to gain her trust and to obtain control over her as part of his plan to sexually molest and abuse JC. Besides sexual assault, the suit accuses Dylan of false imprisonment and assault, claiming that the encounter amounted to willful detention of plaintiff without authority or law, all of which were done intentionally by him to her without her consent. And she never said anything. The accuser, uh, the accuser is asking for a trial and unknown specified damages. That took place in 1965. <clears throat> Regarding the statute of limitations, Newsweek explained the lawsuit was filed on Friday, which was just one day prior of New York's Child Victims Act failing deadline. Well, imagine that. In 2019, New York created a one-year period allowing victims of sexual assault to file claims against their alleged abusers. The act allowed for the claims to be filed in the state regardless of how old the claims were. If the allegations turn out to be true, the following video of Dylan appearing to admit that he sold his soul to the devil could be, safe, could be taken seriously. I've always taken it seriously, and this is one of the reasons that I believe that he may have molested this person, which, despite my anger at it being allowed to continue, I obviously am mortified and repulsed and sickened by. We still on tour. I still out here doing these songs, you know, you're still on tour. I do, but I don't take it for granted. Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. You know, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where um, I am now. So, should I ask who you made the... To get where he is now with an extremely limited range of talent, I might add. Bargain with <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and then in the world we can't see. Bob Dylan has been nominated. It doesn't surprise me that evil would be a primary force in that kind of success because there's no talent, there's virtually no talent there. The same is true with Drake and Jeremiah and Fetty Wap and Beyonce. Beyonce has the worst voice ever. How do you think she got where she is? I wouldn't be surprised if it was something like this deal that Dylan is talking about. However, that said, if someone harms you or your child, do not wait 50 some years to let people know. Because if you do that, if the person is genuinely guilty, you are allowing that to happen to other people. Good night, friends. God bless. Sorry to report such a downer.